Let me introduce the S27 series RTU Connect to cloud platform via Modbus protocol. First of all, we need to install an USB driver on the computer so that S272 can connect to the computer. After successful installation of USB driver, you will see the COM port in Computer Management, Device Manager, Ports. Next, switch the DIP switch to Set Mode, then power on the RTU, and connect the RTU to computer by USB cable. Open the configuration software. Be sure to refresh to a serial port number which is consistent with the port we queried in Device Manager before. After that, enter the password 1234. Choose Normal SIM card to enter setting. I only introduce RTU Connect to Cloud Platform via Modbus protocol today. There is a device ID. The cloud platform can send and read commands by this Modbus ID. Click the cellular network under cloud platform setting. Click connect other IoT server. Then choose Modbus RTU protocol. If you don't need to use MQTT protocol, then ignore the other parameters. Just choose Modbus RTU protocol, the APM parameter to be filled in according to the SIM card. Here is the server address. Take our cloud platform as an example. Fill in the domain name or IP of the server, then enter the port. Server 2 is used as a backup server. It will only connect to the server when the connection to server 1 is not successful or disconnected. The login message is for server recognizes what the device is used for. You can set it yourself if you want to connect our server. Please contact our sales. Login at message, logout message. You can fill it in or not. The heartbeat and at message need to be filled in. Maintain the connection between the device and the server. And fill in the heartbeat interval. and the recent times after it is disconnected. Server strategy choose send once when login server means it will send the registration packet only once when device connects to the server. After settings saved, when finished the configurations, please switch the DIP switch to run mode. Otherwise, the RTU cannot work properly. Then restart the RTU. The RTU will be used the parameters we set to connect to the cloud platform. Others are set on the server, and the server can send command by Modbus protocol to control the deal of RTU or monitoring the DI, AI parameters, temperature, humidity and voltage data. If a slave is added, then the server can also send command corresponding to the mapping address. You can check more details from the user manual. Baylight technology established in 2005. Customers in more than 190 countries and regions. Specializes in designing and manufacturing industrial IoT gateways, edge computing gateways, industrial IO module, 4G industrial routers, TC. Making IoT and automation easier.